guitar people on the webs. For a while now, you might have noticed this thing in my videos. And I think I owe it to you, and I most certainly owe it to Maybach, Maybach. It's not the Mercedes, it's the guitar, uh, to talk about it a little bit. Now, this is the Maybach Lester Midnight. It's the color. The Lester for Les Tur. Cool. Um, let's be honest. Gibson's got new leadership. It's very likely they're going to pull off something great, finally. Um, Price-wise, they're still going to pull off something in the higher price range. I think they're going to get their quality control under control, as far as I uh, heard what JC has planned. That's the new CEO. But there are other sea in the fish, other no, other lobsters in the tank, other fish in the sea. That's what they say. Um, Eastman is one of them, and I have a beautiful Eastman as something 59, uh, SB 59, uh, which we will compare to this at some point because they're in a very similar price range. Now, Maybach is European made. This is a technically a German brand uh, made in the Czech Republic by some very skilled luthiers. And as of yet, Maybach is doing their iterations of all the classics. The S, the T, the SG, the LP, and all those, um, with their own spin on it. And I do like their spin quite a bit. Now, this guitar was, or actually the gold top version of it, was the one that in our Les Paul shootout that we did at Toman, in the price point between 1300 euro and 2600 euro, very clearly reigned supreme. Andy, the guitar geek, was flabbergasted by the quality and the tone, and nothing really got close to it, including the 2600 euro Gibson Les Paul standard. It had a really pretty top, it was red, cool guitar, but just, it wasn't this. Now, with all these types of guitars, you have to know that they differ in everything. They differ a little bit in weight, they will differ a little bit in um, in tone because of the weight, in, it, it's, it's wood, it, you know, they're all slightly different. Um, the gold top was brilliant, this is as well, it's slightly differently brilliant. What Maybach does really well is give you the custom shop aged, worn in experience, almost like no other brand. Because there's attention to detail that is phenomenal on these instruments. Um, you hopefully saw some of it in the um, shots in the beginning. I'm going to try to capture some of it right here. Uh, I did take the pick out off because I don't like it on, on single cuts of this type. Now, let's go through some stats, which you can just read on the website, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to read the website to you. So we have a mahogany Les Paul style body. Compared to the similarly priced Eastman, this is two piece, Eastman is one piece. According to Jörg Tandler, one of the master builders of this type of guitar, if it's done right, this can have a 20 piece body and it doesn't affect the tone. It just has to be done right. Um, we have a maple top, maple cap, uh, flame, that's what that says. The, Headstock is Larsen style. I don't know what that means, but I like that it's a little bit slimmer and therefore has a little bit, well, it doesn't have straight pull, but it's a little bit slimmer and I do like that. Uh, trapezoid inlays, which are nothing to write home about, not super mega flashy, but they'll do the job. We have a rosewood fretboard and the tuners are Goto SD90 Relic. They do a great job. What I love about them is that someone at Maybach in the Czech Republic goes and sands these down. And I've pointed this out to Grover Jackson. I pointed this out to uh, Nick Huber and all those higher priced brands that there's this little ridge where the uh, plastic is molded that they leave on there. 
these are buttery freaking smooth. It's ridiculous. It's so nice. They feel worn in. They feel as if they're 40 years old because someone takes the five minutes and sands that off and then polishes them. So they do feel rounder and smoother. And since that is the one thing on the guitar that you often interact with, it, it does matter. It really does. So well done, Maybach, on that detail. We have um, Amber Spirit of 59 pickups. Amber pickups, really high quality, German handmade. Uh, two volume, two tone, one toggle. Duh. Uh, NC Blackering Midna NC. Is that nitro? No, nitrocellulose. That's what that means. It comes with a luxury case. And the case is really nice. Um, you saw it in the uh, pictures in the beginning. A certificate. The whole, the whole presentation is high-end custom shop. And it's under two grand. The price is not high-end custom shop. It's a higher price for a guitar. Don't get me wrong. 2,000 bucks isn't cheap. But for this... Not too bad. Let's see what else we have. Oh, it goes to the next guitar. So that's really all they give us here. Okay. It's all the information on the website. Let's look at some details, I guess. So, look, let's see if Leslie can catch some of the aging right here. It's really, really nicely done. Someone hit this with a screwdriver or what, however they're doing this. Beautiful cracks in the finish. Let's look up here. Come on, how do I do this? There you go. In the back here, this is really nice. You definitely don't have a feeling as if you have to be careful with this guitar because it is rather nicely scratched up and, and beaten. But not to the point where it's not beautiful anymore. Um, there's still all the lacquer on the back. No super easy access here. This is all very traditional. Um, yeah, so it just feels from the very first moment like a, like a tool. It feels like a great tool to do the rock and roll. The rock and roll. And that's what we're going to do in a whole bunch of amps. I've played it in many tracks. From the moment that I got this, this became the tool to do the mahogany single cut. I'm going to say it. The Les Paul sound. Um, of course, what is the Les Paul sound? There's rounder ones, there's bitier ones, there's thinner ones, there's thicker ones, there's attackier ones. You can't say that's the Les Paul sound. They obviously all have a sound, but within that category, there's room to move. I'm going to start with the Tone King Sky King right there in clean. Um, and we're going to go through it. Neck humbucker is extremely round. This is cream heaven. There's not aggression and bite, it is round. <laughs>
So yes, this can be a beautiful jazz act. One thing I know how to play, but it's beautiful. Let's go middle. And quacky gnarly in the back. the new Rev D20, which is the tiny little thing on the, it's the white thing under the Morgan. Let's go to the Marshall Studio Classics, um, I'm going to call it Mini Plexi, which is right there. Which is very bitesque. That was horrible rhythmically. Push that with the Bogner Ecstasy Red. That's that's the rock and roll. Uh, let's do a little bit more rock and roll with Achilles Argos, which is really a boutique kind of an amp, which is easily blown up because it's all no master volume and stuff. <laughs> More apps. Uh, let's go. Oh, Morgan AC20 is the number six. That's, of course, very voxy. <laughs>
not too shabby. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Friedman, Dirty Shirley. There she is. <laughs> Let's, let's try one of those. I don't know how that goes. And then something. What do I know? Uh, that's nice. And, um, oh, Laney LA30BL is the number 13. Just a great amp. Get this, get that amp, and hello. Ho! Oh! I know, of course, you want to hear it with a Marshall JCM 800, which I can do, because that is, you know, rock and roll. <laughs>
Something. Okay. That 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 works. And obviously the last one, the Rev 100 P. I can't imagine this is gonna get any more brutal than the than the Marshall with the boosty thing, but we'll see. <laughs> the master is down. Master! <laughs> ridiculous that the guitar that is this round and this classic and this vintage is this defined on all strings with this much gain in the drop D. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You can look for mud all freaking day long. It's not there. Maybach doesn't come with mud. No mud built in. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. So, yeah, from Le Jazz, as they say in France for jazz, uh, to Le Vétal, as they say somewhere. Blues. I mean, this is a solid, solid, solid workhorse of a mahogany single cut vintage beat up guitar that's even pretty. So, um, if you can get your hands on one, try them out. Everyone who's played a Maybach is pretty much convinced. Gibson has competition. I think they're on their way to, you know, remedy that. If they can. I know Gibson can build this. There's no question about this. Can they build it like this for two grand? If you're not a brand nutso and this gives you the guitar boner, just like the G does, then you might want to look at a Maybach Lester. Comes in different colors, comes in P90s and all that stuff. Check them out. I'm very happy that I have this workhorse here. Thank you, Maybach people. You rock and rule and all that. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Um, yeah, links below. And animals at the end. <laughs> <laughs>